Eclipse has a lot of uh, really excellent XML tools, and I'm going to show you how to use some of those tools. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a new project. So we're going to go File, New Project, and I'll say Next, and I'll, I'll sh just say Demo XML. and finish. All right, so there's my demo XML. And then I'm going to say new other. When I click on other, then you can see all these options will come up. And one of the options is XML. And I can either start a DDT file or XML file or an XML schema file. So let's do our XML file. And I'm going to call this address. And I'll just say, well, let's do next so you can see what happens. It's going to use my XML template that's built into Eclipse. Now, I happen to have an XML file already, so I'm going to go out and get that. Here's my XML file. I'm going to copy it all and I'm going to put it into my document. All right, so here's my XML file. I have a few comments in here. Notice the color coding on, on in Eclipse for XML is blue for, for, for uh, comments, which looks a little bit different, but I'll save that. And then I'm also going to create uh, a DDT file. So I'll go new, other, and here's my DDT file. And I also happen to have a DDT file handy, so I'll go out and get that. And put that in my, so there's my DDT file. Now you see, I didn't, I didn't do the naming on it, I wasn't watching. So if I want to rename this, I can right mouse click, go into refactor, and then rename. And I'm going to call this letter DDT. Notice my naming convention is I use the, oh, I have to rename this one too. Letter.xml. Notice my naming convention is I keep both files the same and their extensions tell me what their purpose is. And here you can see where I'm telling my parser that in this XML file, I want to use letter DTD from the file system. I want to use this file as my dictionary or my rule book in order to validate everything. But first let's check to make sure if we're valid. So I'm going to come over here to my XML. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to say validate and it right away it found three errors. And I can click on my tab here along the bottom. So if we did close this by mistake and we wanted to see these errors, we go to Windows, Show View, and here you can see our problems. And that opens back up. Also, if you want to see a, a better view, you can double click on this. It opens it up in full screen. And that gives you a much better view of, of what's happening. So it says in here, our contact is incomplete. It must match. And it tells us what we need. So if we look at this, and again, if I double click here, that gives me my small view. And this is on line 16. So it says my contact is, I have my name, my address, my address 2, my city, my state. And you can see I'm missing zip, phone, and flag. So I have to come in here and add zip. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can do a control S to save. But in order to revalidate this, I have to right mouse click and run validate again. I'm still showing errors, so it's that individual one wasn't enough. 
So I'm going to have to fix them all. And I also need a flag. Right mouse click, validate, two errors. And now you can see that my errors have changed. So now it says I need an attribute of gender for the flag. And if I go back to look at my DDT, I can see in here that flag has a gender of male or female, and it's required. So that's what triggered off my error. So I'll come in here and I'll say gender equals female. And it looks like that can be a single tag because it my data is inside my uh, element. Again, right mouse click, validate. Now, I it looks like the same error, but you have to watch your line numbers. You bring my line number, and if I click on this, you can see that this error really goes down here to line 27. We now have our contact is valid. But then also, letter has some missing stuff. So I'll leave it to you to fix the other things. You can refer back to your DDT to see what is required and where. And then you can go in and fix your XML until you have all your errors corrected. So that's how you can use Eclipse to work with your XML documents. Makes for a very nice, quick validation tool.